everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i am happy to have you today i am showing some projects that i made using my some of the bb craft items that they sent me i got to thinking about it and i thought well i'll make a card and i was looking at this and I'm like, you know what that looks like a cauldron being a witch that I am <laughs> and of course I had to use the stars so this is the ones I used in my let's move BB crap out of the way a second I used these stars for my card and this as a cauldron this was out of the way I used some stamps that I had, I used a couple of my other die cuts that I had in my stash. I used some thicker tape. I used a little of this. And I just cut them out, like I said, on my die cut machine. And I also, used a few of these that I had in my stash. So now I'm going to show you my card. I'm not a great card maker, but I thought it turned out pretty cute. So here it goes. I made the cauldron. Oh, and guess what? This yellow looking glitter glue from Dollar Tree. When I put it on the card, it turned green. So, which is great because you know we got oozy stuff coming out of there and as you can see the, the card is a little up in the air with that one with the the cauldron and then i took these dies and made the little pumpkin so she could stand on it a little witch so if she is stirring it and then I used those little stick on things, but I actually had the little glue and then the little heart because she's making a potion of love. Now here's the inside and it's not totally finished. There's that ribbon stuff I used at the bottom. Like I said, I'm not a perfect card maker, but I try. So the inside says... We all have a bit of magic in us. Do your thing. And then I used the stamp of, a, of the hat and the cobweb with the spider. And the BB craft stars at the top. And this was the two there. And then I like this picture. And I'm thinking about maybe taking my star punch I got, dipping it into some uh, gold paint maybe, and adding a couple of stars up here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But that is what I used. These die cuts they sent me. bbcraft.com awesome place I want to show you a little trick that I learned with these embossing folders that I already had my stash a friend of mine got one of these stamp things where you know you can uh, keep your stamps like this from um, moving well I thought this was absolutely a wonderful idea so I thought well, you know what the embossing folder has this roughness on this side but on this side it's slick so I thought why not just turn it over so you take your stamp stick it down on it it's slick it won't come off so we got our paper and we binked up that side and you can see where you're doing it at 
and it's basically a frugal cheap way of doing it <laughs> without buying that stamp thing even though I still want one but that was my tip of the day so I have one more project that I'm going to be showing you and it's how to make something with the trays and basils that's coming up in just a few minutes stay tuned And then, after they dry, we're going to flip them over and we're going to glue on the backs. Be right back. Okay, they are dry. So we're going to put a little glue on them. that I'll be right back to show you what else we're gonna do okay guys I did not show you putting these chains together but this is the bracelet and I basically attached jump rings there and there and then I like that I bought these little tiny chains well they came this way like a little chain, some longer than others. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I added a jump ring here. And then another chain and then a clasp. And then I did the same thing on that side. Now this is the round one for the bracelet. The piece is dried and I'm only going to do one of these and then I'll show you the finished product. But to put them into the bezel into the tray, I'm going to use E6000 because that will um, last longer and hold it in stronger. Okay, 
E6000 is really strong, and that's why the cap gets stuck sometimes. So we're going to put a little dollop on there. Take the matching round one, which is this. And we're going to put it into the bezel that it matches. And we're going to squeeze it down in there. And then we're going to let it dry. See if I can get some of that off of it. And you can take an uh, alcohol wipe and uh, clean it up, which I will. And then I'll be right back and I'll show you all the pieces. Okay, guys. This is the bracelet. This is the ring. And this is the necklace. I just put a ball chain on it this time because I didn't have time to link all those chains together to make a chain. But it's easily taken off and put another one on. So that is what I made. Trays and bezels from BB Craft. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope uh, you enjoyed what it looks like. Have a great day everyone. Go to my description box down below and check out bbcraft.com because they have awesome craft supplies and this YouTube a cooperation program also that will be linked in my description box have a great day everyone blessed be y'all